everyone, welcome to the Mediception Show. I am Fariba and there has it's been quite the slow week because there has been a lot of things going on, especially when it comes to Disney Plus. There hasn't been anything too big, but in just about I mean it is now August, right? So we are going to have She Hall coming up this month for uh on Disney Plus, but we're also getting Andor. And just recently there was a new trailer that that was dropped by Lucasfilm. So um Definitely a bit intrigued about this series, but yeah, let's get started with our reaction video for Andor. To steal from the Empire? <laughs> we know what this is. So fat and satisfying. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. Go okay. ahead. What I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? Okay, September. It's now coming out in September. I need all the heroes I can get. For the greater good. <laughs> call it what you will. Let's call Go it. Right, right. War. Does that mean you're going to see Blissey uh, Jones in this? That's fermenting. Uh, there are some pockets of fermenting. You're in my net. Fish. Are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. As long as everyone thinks I'm in irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really Okay, doing? I think we know who she is. Three episodes? Ho ho ho! Ho! So that was the trailer for Cass. Oh, well, not Cassie Andor, but it's just called Andor. So this is gonna be very interesting because I know for a fact that we never really got to see Cassian's backstory, especially in Rogue One, because Rogue One was kind of more Jean's story at that time. Whereas, of course, here we're definitely seeing more of Cassian's childhood and how he slowly kind of became a spy um, while, you know, working as a uh as an not a, yeah as an imperial officer right so definitely am a really i'm really intrigued to see more of his backstory i mean i think he was a very interesting character in cassian although he was a bit you know of that strict type but here it's like we're kind of seeing a different side of him that i feel like would be really helpful to kind of get to know him of course again we already know what happens to them having seen Rogue One so this is obviously just going to be a one-off series from the looks of it I mean it's pretty clear but they are introducing a lot of new players to this uh, I mean yeah we saw um, Guerrero right so uh, of course we know what happens to him in Rogue One right so but it's nice to see Force Whitaker returning as Guerrero um, what I'm really intrigued about is the fact that this is kind of the inception of the Rebel Alliance right um, because if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be getting Star Wars, right? I think, I think there's that's one of the reasons why we appreciate Rogue One because it kind of fills in a bit of the gaps in between, I guess, what would be Episodes three and Episode four, in a sense. Because again, like the way that the the way that Lucas, uh, f you know, made these films, right? He started with the originals, but then the uh, Phantom Menace up to like uh, Revenge of the Sith, right? All those are the prequels to the series. So it's kind of like, okay, so what happens in between Revenge of the Sith and, you know, 
uh, A New Hope in that case, right? Um, I know we had Obi-Wan Kenobi just now, right? So in that series, we started to see more of just how Obi-Wan started to become Ben Kenobi, and then we kind of have that gap with, you know, the fact that he actually knew Leia before, although there's a lot of plot holes with that whole situation. <laughs> so, I mean, a bit of some issues with that, but here it's kind of like we're definitely seeing a bit more of just like what happens right before Rogue. So like Rogue almost right before New Hope and now we're getting what is happening right before um, Rogue One. And again, I'm very interested to see how they're going to execute the whole like storyline with Cassian's backstory. But that's a, but not just that, but they're also introducing a new player played by Aja. Um, I can't remember pronounce her name fully, but I know that she appears to be one of the new players into this, so I wonder what's going to happen to her, if whether she was somebody that, you know, Cassian had loved and then lost, in the, you know, you know, around during their journey or whatnot. That's something that I'm very intrigued to see, if maybe that's how Cassian became Cassian that we see in Rogue One. Um, we do see, Mo I believe we see Mothma. I cannot be sure about that. It seems like we see her as well. So, again, I'm seeing a lot of things where the beginnings of the Rebel Alliance is being created. So a lot of references to that. So I'm really intrigued to see how this whole, this comes to inception, right? Because we did get a bit of a glimpse of this in Obi-Wan Kenobi as well, where they kind of had like their own resistance movement, but it wasn't there yet. And here it's kind of like, okay, we're finally seeing the beginning of it. And anyway, even with that being said, if that's going to be the case, then it's also giving me the impression that Princess Leia might be here. I know, again, Carrie Fisher had passed away, but also we've had, you know, there have been other cases where, you know, they were able to somehow, not recast, but they were, you know, digitally able to bring in Princess Leia. And I think we did see references to Alderaan here as well. So I'm very, very intrigued to see. I'm very intrigued how they're going to execute this series because there is just so much lore at this point that it can they at least get things kind of you know bit cohesive in terms of the Star Wars lore. Um, I'm a bit intrigued with that. We are getting three episodes for this, so I'm I'm curious to see why they moved from their August release date to September. I don't know if maybe it's because of CGI or they needed more time. I'm very, very curious about that, but we are getting a three-episode premiere, so that's going to be a lot of episodes, and I'm going to assume that we might even get that early in the day, like the way Obi-Wan came out, or Obi-Wan, even though it was supposed to come out like 3 a.m., at least here in Eastern Time, they decided to release it like three hours earlier at 12, so I wonder if they're going to do the same thing with this, because it is three episodes, It's and if there's going to be three episodes, I'm going to assume they're short episodes, because, again, like, uh, I think even with Obi-Wan, there were, even when you take out the credit scenes, it's like about 40 minutes um, with some of, the, some of these episodes. So I'm very intrigued. Um, I, I wonder how they're going to try and do the story. I hope that it's not going to be another one of those filler types of episodes that we're, that we're gonna get like again like I think the last few Star Wars series have been a bit of a letdown. I mean, Book of Boba Fett was just a huge, huge letdown. I mean, for the for a series to be called the Book of Boba Fett, it was anything, but anything to do with Boba Fett. Like that was just, it just became Mandalorian 2.0. And then Obi Wan Kenobi. I mean, it had a strong start and it was able to end fine, um, able to kind of redeem in some ways. But in the in betweens of the story was just really rough. Um, I wonder how, and it's kind of like I'm now going to be a bit more reserved in terms of Andor just because of right now the current trend with Star Wars series at this point but I'm, I'm just gonna hope for the best um hopefully because again I mean this was a pretty good trailer um something again I feel like it really start it seems really cohesive in a sense where it's like okay maybe we might have a very good story where things will mesh up really well it doesn't seem like it's going to be so much fillers but again i'm not going to get my hopes too high at this point just because again of just a trend at this point with these star wars series that they've just kind of been a letdown recently so yeah let me know what you think did you enjoy the uh, andor trailer did you, what were the things that you felt were really interesting that maybe you hope to see more in the series are you also kind of keeping kind of your expectations low just because of 
you know what Star Wars series have been recently because they haven't been the greatest of the great like I mean they've yet to kind of meet the Mandalorian's exp you know level so yeah let me know in the comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe